Hey friends, it is me Stace. Today is Wednesday, July 19th, 2023. This is going to be a chatty video. I want to talk to you about a change of a product idea that I shared when I did my website tour. If you have not seen that video, I will have it linked above and below for you. And of course, we're going to talk about the new Cricut machine, the Cricut Venture. I right, said so moving on to my website really quickly. So stacecrates.com. When I did my website tour, I shared two ideas I had, the Creative Kid Club as well as the video card series. Well, the video card series I thought was a good idea, but it turned out it is not a good idea. In fact, it's actually a horrible idea, and I'm going to share with you guys why. So I first thought of the idea of to do an ebook where I can share with you PDF tutorials of creating fun and fancy fold cards. Didn't like that idea, so I thought I'll do like a members only course where you guys can pay and you'll see a video of me showing you how to make the a certain fun or fancy fold card as long as as well as a PDF download for that card. Well, after I thought about it, I felt really bad charging you for that because I have done videos in the past on my YouTube channel showing you how to make fun and fancy fold cards, easel cards. Um, twisted easel cards, waterfall cards, the gatefold cards, all different kinds of fun fold cards. And I showed you the video for free and I also sometimes had a PDF download you can also download for free. So I'm doing away with the video card series because I felt really bad charging you for it when you can easily go on YouTube and search for fun and fancy fold cards and you'll find all kinds of tutorials. So why am I charging you for something that you can easily access for free? I just thought it was a way to bring money to my website but I'm not doing it. So the video card series is no longer a thing. I will still do my videos on YouTube. And if I do make a card, whether it be a fun fold card or a no gadget needed card, and I want to offer you a PDF, you'll find that PDF on the coordinating blog post absolutely free of charge. Okay, so the video card series is no longer a thing. The Creative Kid Club, though, is still a thing. And I'm really excited about that. I'm hoping to have it launch in maybe between three and five months is my goal. I still have a lot of things on my end I need to do. I need to figure out craft projects, supplies that we're going to be using, the videos, the printables, all those kind of things. But I'm really excited about it and I hope you guys are as well. So I want to share with you more about the Creative Kid Club in case, um, you know, when I showed you my website, I did show you that page, but I have changed a few things up and I want to share with you, just go in more detail here. I will have a direct link to that page on, on below so you can go there and read more about it. If you have any kind of questions, please contact me. You can either message me here. Um, my email is always below. You can contact me on my website. Either way, I will get back to you as soon as I can and answer any questions that you may have. Um, all right, so what is the Creative Kid Club? It is a monthly kit. Now, when I say monthly kit, it is not subscription-based. It's not something you're signing up for. It's not something you would get every single month. There's no termination fee. There's no cancellation fee. Basically, it's a product in my shop. If you want to buy it, you do. If you don't want to buy it, you don't. Um, basically, what it is, is a monthly craft kit for um, kids. So when I say kids, think toddler, maybe you know kindergarten, first, second grade age group. It's not for the tweens or the older kids. It's mainly geared toward little ones. Okay. So each month I will offer a craft kit. There will be limited quantities of the amounts of kits I will have available. And also the price of the kit will vary each month because that does depend on the project I'm making as well as the supplies I'm using. I can't do a set price. I will try my best to keep the cost as affordable as I can because my goal is for you guys to buy them and have your little ones create crafts with them. So what is in the kit? You will receive three, at least three, sometimes more than that, but at least three kid-friendly projects, as well as all the supplies and materials they need to make the project, with the exception of the stable supplies, and I'll go over those in a minute. You'll also receive a PDF printable tutorial. Now, you guys seen my PDFs before, you know, for a card, I, I do go in great detail. I show you guys a picture, um, all the materials, the measurements, and step-by-step -step directions. It'll kind of be the same thing as that, but more kid-friendly. I might do, in some cases, I can do a picture tutorial, so they can follow it easily by pictures. And in a written format, it'll be written in a way to where the kids can understand it better, so it won't be as detailed as my normal PDFs, but still share with you how to make the project. You'll also receive a video of me creating the project for your little one. I was going to do one long video showing all three projects together, but I'm actually going to do three separate videos of each project. This way your little one's not sitting through 
the whole video waiting to get to the project they want to make. They could just click on whatever video they want to see. Is there going to be a preview available? Um, there will be a teaser. I don't want to share with you the whole project, but I do want you guys to have an idea of what you're getting. I promise you your little ones are going to love the projects we're making, but I will share with you like a teaser. So if I do the three projects, I'm not going to share with you one project or two or three. I'll share with you like a teaser picture of one of the projects. I won't tell you what it is or what materials we're using. Um, I want it to be a surprise for your little one. I will also offer a, there's a birthday club available. So when I share your little one's birthday with me, they'll receive in their birthday month, they'll receive a free kit. They'll also receive a handmade card from me to them directly. Um, there is going to be discounts. If you want to buy more than one kit, just contact me and I will give you a coupon code for whatever percent off on your second or third kit. Keep in mind there will be limited quiz, limited quiz, limited quantities of kits available as well. Um, referral codes as well. You want to refer, refer a friend. They'll get a discount. You'll get a discount. I'm still working out those details. Um, but again, the, the best way to keep up to date with what I'm doing with the Creative Kid Club is my newsletter. That's where I will update you guys um, for any information that's changing or the exact launch date. And you can easily subscribe to my newsletter absolutely free of charge. Just go to stacecrace.com on the home page. You'll see where you sign up. All right, so I discussed the kit, um, the printables, the uh, birthday club, referral club, discounts. We buy the more than one kit in the preview. Now let's talk about the printables. So when you purchase the kit, you're going to receive an email confirmation of your order. Along with that, you're going to re receive a password with a link that'll take you to, you click on the link, enter in the password, and then that's where you'll access the videos as well as the printables. On the printable, the very bottom of that printable is going to be the same link you just clicked on with the password. This way you can go back. If you purchased the kit in July, and you want your, now it's October, you want to go back and make July's project, we forgot the video you'll still have access to that video. So the videos, the passwords never expire. Um, so just keep a hold of the printable and you'll always have the password. If you ever forget the password, just simply email me and I will give you the password as well once I verify that you actually purchased the kit. So if you purchase the kit in July, you will have access to July's videos. If you purchase the kit or if you, have, if you do not purchase the kit in August, you will not have access to the August videos. The passwords will change month to month. Um, that way it stays fair. But again, any questions at all, please let me know. All right, so I mentioned the the kits come with all the, all the materials and supplies you need except for the staple supplies. What I mean by that, if we are making a project, just say for July, um, we're using you know paints and glue. I'm not going to include the paints and glue in that box because odds are the very next box, I'm, I'm going to use the same paints and glue. So what I do have instead is a starter kit. But th think of the project if we're using fabric and feathers and pom-poms and popsicle sticks and googly eyes and construction paper and whatever else I'm using, all those things will come inside the kit, just not the staple supplies. The, the, the normal supplies like the salt and pepper ingredients that you should probably already have on hand, they don't include those. Each project will be in a bag by itself, separated, so each project will be, um, it's not just going to be thrown in one box. Each project will have its own bag or folder it'll go in, as well as the printable will be inside that folder or that that bag so you can easily separate so they're easily separated you're not just you're not ciphering through figuring out which project which which of this goes to that project that kind of thing all right so let me talk about the starter kit this is where you'll find all your staple supplies and these are your basic supplies you can pick up at any walmart back to school shopping they're basic supplies so you're probably thinking okay stace why would i buy them from you and not just go to the store and buy them myself you can i'm just offering this as a a kit um i think it's a fun way to get your little one excited in crafting. And that's what my goal is here, to get as many kids as I possibly can excited about crafting and you possibly crafting with them. So I created a starter kit that includes all the supplies I think that I would use on a regular basis. Like I already have a few um, project ideas. So I go over the supplies and I think, okay, what am I using all the time? Or what am I using over and over again? I would include those supplies in your kit. That way you have them. Um, and I like the idea that your little one would have them and it just gets them excited. It, remi it reminds me when I was little of back to, uh, back to school shopping. I didn't like school, but I love back to school shopping. And when we got all my clothing and the lunch boxes and the folders and the school supplies and the sneakers, I, I really looked forward to going to school because I wanted to try all my, all my new stuff. So when your little one has this bag filled with all these craft supplies, I'm hoping it gets them excited to craft and create something phenomenal. So in the starting, in the starter kit, 
also if you purchase the starter kit that month you will get the free kit that month you can purchase a starter kit or not but if you do purchase it you'll get the free kit that month again just email me prior um, so I know you order you, you that you have the starter kit and I will um, give you the code for the free kit of that month all right so I'm gonna share with you what's inside the kit and also talk about branding and um, sponsors so Crayola, Fiskars, and um, Elmers, we're, we're still reaching out to them to see if, not really a sponsorship, I'm not working with them, see if they would give me a discount on, like maybe a coupon code to be able to buy products from them in bulk, um, and they, they would know that what the purpose is for, for the Kid Club, and they would help support the Kid Club. If they do, in any way, offer me a coupon code or send me any kind of free product, I'll make that crystal clear on my website. I want to make sure that you guys know that as well. Um, what I did do, though, is I created a logo for the Creative Kid Club that is separate from StaceCraze.com. Even though it is on my website, I want to keep the two kind of separate. And if this launches really well and I see it's I see it's doing good, I might even make it my own website for the Creative Kid Club just all by itself. Um, but right now it's going to sit on StaceCraze.com, but I want it to kind of be separated from them a little bit. So I did create a logo. I'll insert the logo right here so you can see. It's a very simple logo. I looked on Cricut, Design Space, Silhouette Studio, Canva. Um, the font, the scripty font, is the font I use on my website. It is a commercial font. I did purchase that font, so I'm able, I'm legally allowed to use that. And the Kid Club text is just a generic text I seen inside Canva, and just a little paintbrush and like a little circle thing, just to kind of balance it out a little bit. Um, so the branding of Stace Christ will not be on anything related to the Kid Club. Um, you know, the bag, the cup, nothing like that. So I did create a mug. I'll show you that really quickly. Um, with the logo on it. This is a sub made of mug. And I will have this for sale on my website as well. Um, you know, so you want to per you know, want to purchase it, you can. It, it helps support the club. You support my website. So I will have this on there. And I will try my best to make the the monthly kits and the starter kit as affordable as I possibly can. I don't want to have these really high prices that discourage you to buy the kit. I want to make them affordable. So you're, per so you're purchasing them and your little one or your nieces and nephews or whatever it may be is able to make the craft. My number one goal is to get the kids crafting and creating something that they're, re they're really proud of. All right, so inside the kit. Um, so the kit's going to contain, like I said, everything that I, could, I think of that we can use. Um, so you're going to receive a tote bag to put all this stuff in. So just your, again, very simple tote bag. You can pick up at Walmart. That's where I'm getting mine from. I do buy them by the case, or I did buy them by the case, but this is a tote I already had. So this is kind of dingy and dirty, but I want to share with you what it's going to look like. So it's like a 13 and a half by 13 and a half by three and a half, um, just a regular tan colored um, canvas tote bag. It's going to have the logo on it, Creative Kid Club in black vinyl to match my mug. I just use gray, uh, but it'll be double sided. So no branding, no stage crates on the bag. Inside the bag, when if you get the kit, I will have a little tag that says, you know, presented by stagecrates.com with a referral code. So I want to share with your friends or family. Um, you will get a discount. They will get a discount, possibly a free kit. I'm still working on the referring links, but that'll be inside the bag. Also on your printable, I will have stagecrates.com below on the very bottom on the printable, but no other branding at all. I'm not a big fan of branding like it all over the place, but... Um, so the bag would just be Creative Kid Club. Okay, so inside the bag, I, I I did a folder. I think I might change that and do a binder, but I wanted a place where your little one can put the printables. And with the printables, I want to try, like I said before, try to make them be more picture tutorial or kid friendly to where they're easily understood by kids. But just a simple folder. And again, I might change this to a binder. I'm not sure. But it has little pockets in it and these little clasps you can put the printables in so they can, I like this idea a lot. So they can come back and look and they, you know, each, the front page will have a picture of it, what we're making. So they can easily see, they can easily identify what they want to make and then they have all the instructions there to make that same craft. And the reason I like the starter kit is, again, to get your kids excited because all their stuff's in one spot. Like I said, very, very similar to back to school shopping. But it's also a great thing to take um, or to take at grandma and grandpa's house if they go there, or your sister's house or whatever they, you know, your, your friends may go or your little ones may go. It's great to have over there because, you know, sometimes grandma and grandpas don't have the means or the money to go out and buy all the supplies. So it's already there. It's already there for them. Plus, it's a really fun bag. Like I said, just for organization, and it's just great to you know take the doctors, take to and keep in the car, um, a great boredom buster as well. All right, so inside the bag, other than the um, the um, 
folder, which I might change to a binder. And this list is growing. Um, I don't have all the supplies yet. I did. My husband just placed an order at Walmart. It'll be here tomorrow, so I'll add more things to this. Um, but just to give you an idea of what's in here. A 24-pack of crayons, a 10-count uh, of markers. I have colored pencils as well. This is a 12-count of colored pencils. We have the washable watercolor paints. This is a pound of eight. Then we have the classic paint. This is a 10 pack of paint. And these are the two ounce containers. So they're nice size containers, um, or nice size containers of paint, rather. You can see there. And I chew, I'm using all Crayola, Fiskars, and you know, Elmer's because they're all kid friendly products. All right, so we have the Crayolas. Then we have the glue. I, right now I have a four ounce bottle of glue. I might change this because odds are we'll be using a lot of glue. I might make this be two four ounce bottles of glue in the kit. And we have the two glue sticks. Then we have the Fisker scissors. I chose these scissors because they're kid friendly. You can see they're blunt, so they're not, they're not terribly sharp. But I wanted the ones that have a, a lid on them or a cover over them. So it teaches the kids responsibility as far as putting the cap back on their, on their scissors. It's not gonna poke through their bag. So I did, chose, I did choose Fiskars. The colors may vary. Right now we have all the blue colors. Then of course, you know, foam brushes and paint brushes. Other things I'm adding on, I don't have yet, are aprons. Um, this way when they're, when they're uh, painting, they can put the apron on to protect their, to protect their clothing. Again, it teaches them a little bit of responsibility as well. Um, pencil sharpeners, um, paint palette. So they want to pour their, little, their paint in like a little palette and maybe mix their colors. They can do that versus mixing in the paint jar itself. And also um, a low temp glue gun with glue sticks because some projects will be using a glue gun. And I think a low temp glue gun is fine for kids. But again, I do ask for adult supervision whenever your little one is using the scissors or the, um, the glue gun, but that'll be included as well. All right. So there's What's included in the starter kit, like I said, I'll be adding on to that as I make my craft, as I make the project, I make the videos, I'll be adding on to see what I'm using regularly, and I'll add that to the kit, okay? All right, so hopefully you guys understand that. If you have any questions, like I said, please contact me. I'd be more than happy to answer any kind of questions you might have, um, any concern you might have, uh, please let me know. All right, let's move on and talk about the Cricut machine, the new Cricut adventure. Have you seen it? I did see it when it um, on Facebook, on the official Facebook, Cricut Facebook page, they did the Facebook reveal, and oh my gosh, I fell in love the minute I seen it. It is a gorgeous machine. It is stunningly beautiful. Um, it's just so designed, it's designed so well. You can see they put a lot of thought into it. The engineering aspect of it is amazing, and I love the docking stand. So the Cricut Venture is a large format cutting machine. So we're used to our little makers that do 12 inch wide. This one does 25 inches wide. It's humongous. Um, but again, it is gorgeous and very well designed. So I think it's very, very pretty. It's probably, it's, I think it's, it's very unique to Cricut. There's no other machine out there that I can think of that has this large of a cutter that has all the specs this one has. Um, what I really like about the machine the most is the 45 degree angle. You know, if you are thinking about like just the Cricut Maker or even like the, the Cameo Pro that also is a wide format machine, basically with our mats, whether you're using a, a Cricut, a Cricut Joy, a Cameo, or Brother Scanica, all your mats go in flat. So they go in and they come out the back and they keep on going in and out. So you need the space in the front of the machine. You need the space in the back of the machine to allow for the size of the mat. The way this one is designed on a 45 degree angle, the mat kind of goes up and down. It doesn't go this way. So it is, it's also good for space saving. You don't need an eight foot piece, an eight foot table to use your machine. Like if I had the Cameo Pro with a mat go in and out for a 24 inch mat, I would need a much larger workspace. I don't have the space, you guys know that. So I do like the fact that you're able to put the Cricut Venture on the very edge of a table and you can still use it because of the way the 45 degree angle is designed with the mat. Um, it also has a vacuum suction in there, so it actually sucks the, vet, the mat in to make sure it stays in place. Um, it's a commercial speed. Um, it, it's, it's, there's so many nice things about it, and I absolutely love, I think it's genius, the docking station, the little, the little stand it stays on. Um, that has holders, you know, a security locks your machine in place, it has a, a, a roll, um, a roll holder in the back, so you're working with a vinyl, it has a, it has a material holder in the back, it has hooks to hang your mats because the mats are humongous. Um, you know, I can't store a mat on my wall, so it'd be a great idea to store your mats in there. All right, so let me share with you the price of it and all the things I've learned about it, share with you what I think pros and cons and if I'm interested in it, that kind of thing. 
All right, so the price of the machine, now it's not going to available, it's not available yet. It'll be available on Cricut.com on July 25th, also on HSN on July 25th as a today's special value. On Cricut.com right now, the machine is priced at $9.99.99, so basically a thousand bucks. If you are a Cricut Access member, you would get it for $9.49.99. They have the bundle, so you can get the machine and the stand together or the docking station. Um, for On Cricut.com, it is $12.49. If you're an Access member, you would get it for $11.99. So $1,200 for the machine and the stand. Um, yeah, that's kind of high. But I do think it's high. You know, it's, it's like a mortgage payment, right? Um, I get it. The price is really high. But I do think the specs of the machine, the way the machine is designed, and just the features that the machine has and the stand, like I said, the stand is genius. I think it might be kind of worth the price, you know? Um, I really think it is because, like I said, there's no other machine out there. You can certainly buy the Cameo 4 Pro for $449 right now on SelebrityAmerica.com. You can. But keep in mind, with that machine, you need the space in the front. You need the space in the back. The, the, the Cricut, you don't need that. And the Cricut... I like it because it's Cricut. It uses design space. Just It doesn't use any special software. We're using design space that we already use. Um, it, it's a nice machine. All right, so let me share with you um, what you get in the box. Let me grab my glasses. Um, I was on Cricut.com earlier trying to figure out, um, you know, just because I watched a lot. I watched a few videos, and I, I was watching a live video on um, Facebook last night. And I, I felt so bad. I asked this girl probably a gazillion questions. I'm like, listen, I, I got questions. Hopefully you have the answers. And she was very, very helpful. She answered every single question I had. So the machine only, like I said, is a 9 on a 9. So it's inside the box. You're going to get the machine, the performance fine point blade, a cutoff tool, roll supports, cleaning tools, a USB-C cable, and a USB-A power cable. The mat support extension, of course, free try to uh, Cricut access for any subscribers. Um, smart vinyl removable, that is 13 by 30. And smart vinyl that's white removable as well, 25 by 6 foot. So my only downside to that is you don't get the mat, the cutting mat. That's a huge mat that they're not giving you. Um, just like with, with the Cricut Maker 3 and the Explore 3, I don't think you got the mat with the machines either. With my Cricut Maker, I got the mat as well as a rotary tool. I just talk about tools and compatibility, all right? So the machine comes with a performance. I wrote all these things down. Performance fine point blade that retails on Cricut.com for $14.99. One blade. So the blades we have, the, not the blade holder, the actual blade inside your Cricut Maker, your Explorer 3, your you know Explorer Regular, your Maker 3, whatever it may be, those blades will work in the Cricut Venture. However, because of the speed of the Cricut Venture, it's going to wear the blades down way too quickly. So it doesn't even benefit to use the blades. You're better off just buying a performance blade. Um, there's also an auto cutoff blade you can purchase separately that is $19.99. And what that is, is if this is your your machine okay this is where your blade housing where you put your marker and you put your little blade in on the very back of that there's a slot so if you put the auto cutoff blade in there and have it set to auto cutoff when you're using vinyl when you're done when the cut's done the machine will stop and just cut a strip across that it does come with a little cutoff tool like the manual one um, you could use that as well but you can also purchase the auto cutoff one that does it for you all right the markers that we currently have now will work in the Cricut Venture. So I do appreciate that. Like the Cricut of Joy, separate markers. But I do like that they made um, the machine compatible with our current markers, not the Cricut Joy pens. They will not fit in it. The regular Cricut markers and pens we have will work in there. Um, just for example, a, 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 a pens and markers for a five count on Cricut.com is 1649 So the scoring stylus that we currently have, I don't have one out here, but the stylus that we have for the Cricut Maker will work in the Cricut Venture. This, the other things we have, like the knife blade, the rotary blade, the um, uh, scoring wheel, double scoring wheel, those will not work in the Cricut Venture. The foil transfer um, kit will work. So if you have the foil transfer, that'll work in there. The deep, um, the deep point blade, the bonded fabric blade will all work. And like I said, the blades themselves will work in the Cricut Venture, but they'll wear down a lot quicker than they normally would. All right, so prices of things. So the price of the mats, okay, that's the most um, 
important one. The mats are 24 by 28 inches. So they are a good size mat. Um, they're on Cricut.com right now, whatever grip you choose is $29.99. Then they offer they also offer a 12 by or a 24 by 12 inch mat, a two count of those for $24.99. I really like those mats. Because if you look, I have a, for the Cricut Maker, I have a 12 inch by 24 inch mat. A lot of us probably have that. You feed it in the machine to where it's 12 inches wide and 24 inches long. In the Cricut Venture, the 24 by 12, you feed it in sideways. So it's going in 24 wide, 12 inches long. I really, really, really like that mat a lot. All right, the stand, you can purchase the stand separately. So again, if the machine is 9 on 9 the stand is $349, you're looking at $1349, so you do save $100 by buying it in a bundle. Um, they have cardstock samplers that measure 24 inches by 28 inches. For a 50 count on Cricut.com, they're $79.99. Yes, $80. For a white cardstock um, count, it's 24 inches by 28. For a 10 count of those, it's $24.99. They have the um, smart vinyl, whether it be uh, um, removable or permanent, 25 inches by 21 feet is $39.99. Transfer tape, 24 inches by 12 feet is $32.99. And I think that's it. That's all I found on Cricut.com. So my thoughts on it. Um, I'm guessing they're probably going to come out with other blades that we could use. Maybe. I don't know. Um, like as far as like the scoring blade, you can use, like I said, the scoring stylist, um, the rotary blade. I don't think they're going to, you, you can, they said you can cut fabric with the bonded fabric blades. I'm guessing they're not going to come out with a rotary blade for that machine. Um, I'm, like I said, my, my biggest disappointment is the fact that it does not come with a cutting mat. I really think they should have included a cutting mat with it, with the size, with the price tag of the machine. It's not going to be that much money to throw in a $30 cutting mat. I think they should have included that. Now, as far as um, the one thing that I, I was I was confused with is the length it can cut. Okay, so you can cut um, um, whatever you want to cut up to 12 feet long. Like if you want to do like a font or a name, you can do 12 feet long. That's a good size. I mean, 12 foot is the width of, is the width of my room, so I can do a whole stage crates banging across my room and have no problems with that. If you want to cut 75 feet long, though, they're repeated images. So I can't do stays crates at 75 feet long. I can do a bunch of circles or a bunch of um, triangles or as long as it's the same shape, I can do a repeat, they call it a repeated pattern, 75 feet long. For the normal everyday use, the max you can do is 12 feet long, which I, is not really that big. Like I'm not going to cut 75 feet long. You know, um, I see a lot of people on the Cricut Facebook page say this is geared more towards businesses and commercial. Um, it is definitely a, a more commercial machine, but it looks cricket. You know, it's, it looks like a cricket, um, although it doesn't really look like a cricket. It's just a, it's, it's a good looking machine. You know, um, I am probably going to get it because I, I do want a bigger machine. Let me explain to you guys why. When I when I first got my Cameo 4, I thought, okay, do I get a Cameo 4, do I get a Cameo 4 Plus, or do I go big and go with the Cameo 4 Pro? Um, I really wanted the Cameo 4 Pro, but I really wanted to learn the Cameo 4 before I spent money on the Cameo 4 Pro. I thought, you know, worst case scenario, I love my Cameo 4, I can, up to, I can upgrade later. Um, and the, the Cameo 4, I love the software, I love the machine, but it's not my favorite machine to use. It's very, very finicky. And I thought if I go with the Cameo 4 Pro, it's going to be just as finicky as my Cameo 4 is as far as the auto blade. Um, so having a bigger size area, like with the Cricut Maker, any Cricut machine you have, the max we have is 12 by 12 or 12 by 24, which is basically 11 and a half by 23 and a half. You can't cut the full 24 inches wide or 12 inches wide on the Cricut Venture because the mats are, what size did I say they were? 25, is that what I said they were? Um, 24 by 28. You're able to cut a full 24 inches wide. On these machines, you can't. As well as the Cameo 4 Pro, you're also able to cut 24 inches wide. But there's times, you know, like if I want to do a decal for the front door, if I use my Cricut Maker, the max I can make that is 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And that's pretty darn little, you know, for a good, for a regular door. So you're able to cut a decal just for the front of the door or the back door or the back of a truck or the back of a car. You know what I mean? I like the bigger possibilities. And when I looked at the Cricut, the Cricut Venture, seeing the price tag, I thought, you know what, Stage, you can go to Cricut or a Cameo right now. Buy the Cameo Pro 4, 
or four forty nine, half the price as the Cricut Venture, and I could probably buy a stand. You know, in fact, I could probably even buy the Cricut stand and use that with my cam, and I'm still well under the Cricut Venture bundle machine and docking station together. Um, but I really like the Cricut. You know, use the design space. We're all familiar with that. You know, um, I've not done silhouette videos in a while because they weren't getting the best views. I might bring them back a little bit, um, but I don't want to buy a machine and then do videos on it when my regular Cameo 4 videos weren't getting views, you know? And I didn't buy it for views. I bought it because I like the idea of it being a new machine. And I love the stand, as I said. And I also love the fact that I'm able to cut a tad bit bigger. You know, I love that 24 by 12 inch mat. I'll probably be using that mat the most. Um, you know, so it's, I think it's nice. So I do plan on getting it. I already told my husband, he already watched um, the video that Cricut released on the on the machine, you know, he did say it was nice. He's not a fan of the price tag. Um, you know, and the price may go down. You know, you figure. Um, one thing I will say with Cricut, um, you know, I'm critical of Cricut when they deserve to be criticized, and I will give Cricut credit when they deserve to be um, deserve to ha receive credit. And I think they receive credit on this machine as well as the Cricut Auto Press. When the, when the Cricut Auto Press first came out, it was also priced at nine hundred nine. Right? It was like this new and exciting thing Cricut had. I watched the HSM presentation. I fell in love with it. I ordered it. I got it here. Sat here a day. I'm like, you know what, stays. I don't want it. I sent it back without even looking at it because I knew if I took it out of the box, I'm going to want it. So I didn't buy the Cricut Auto Press. I bought a Cricut. I bought a, my regular heat press. But I liked the features that the Cricut put in the Auto Press. Um, you know, that's one thing I will say with Cricut. They go kind of above and beyond the basic stuff. I will say they do copy. Um, Silhouette a lot, you know. Silhouette was the first to have print then cut. Now Cricut has print then cut. Silhouette was the first to have the dual carriage. Now that one has a dual carriage. Um, Cricut or Cameo is the first to have the large machine. Now Cricut has a larger machine. They very much do copy Cameo, but they make their machines so much better than the typical Cameo machine. Probably the Auto Press, for example. It was a clamshell. But the way it was designed, it looked like a Cricut. It was a gorgeous machine. Didn't take up a whole lot of space. It was not, you know, you can store it on the side, which is for storage, and you can close the lid with one finger. I have a heat press. I can't close my lid with one finger. I use one hand. Sometimes I use two. Um, so it is a little bit different than, the, it's a lot different than the Cricut Auto Press. Um, the other thing with the Cricut Auto Press, having a clamshell design, they still design it in a way to where you're able to do something that was one inch thick, you know? In a typical clamshell that looks like this, you can't do one inch thick. With the way they designed the Cricut clamshell, it was a clamshell, but when it came down, it kind of went up like this and went, it went down. So when I bought my heat press, I bought it a swing away. I don't want the clamshell design. I bought a swing away, so I still have that same distance. I'm able to do a one inch piece of wood if I wanted to, like put heat transfer on it. So they did come out with the auto press. Um, my only critique of that was the size. You know, I, I said if they if they did their research, they would have known. Okay, 15 by 15 is a lot bigger than their easy press, but it's not that big. If, they, if it was 16 by 20, I would have bought it in a heartbeat without thinking twice about it because you know it wasn't big enough for me. Um, so I do appreciate mine, which is a 16 by 20, and it cost a fraction of what the Cricut Auto Press does or did. But this machine, the Venture, like I said, it is just so different you know it's just a different machine it is loud i did like i said i did watch the video it is loud not not like the, the cameo machines the cameo machines are like screechingly loud this is loud when it's cutting and drawing it's loud when it you hear the vacuum because the vacuum comes on whatever you're doing whether you're using the mat especially with the mat and vinyl without the mat now you can use smart vinyl um you don't have to use Cricut brand smart vinyl. Like on my Cricut Joy, I have to use a smart vinyl. Um, that way I'm able to cut it without a mat. I don't use the Cricut brand because I can buy it off Amazon for a little bit cheaper. So if you like smart vinyl, you don't have to buy the Cricut brand smart vinyl. You can buy smart vinyl off of Amazon. It'll still work in your machine because I, you know, maybe I've used it my Joy without a single issue. It cut beautifully. Um, but I'm excited about it. I'm definitely, I'm going to watch a few more videos. I want to see the machine close up because I've not seen the machine close up. Um, just so I can see all the buttons and things like that. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, watch a free, I'll watch a few more videos. I will definitely watch the HSN presentation. Uh, my husband already knows. I'm probably going to order it. Um, I think if you are going to order it, you can, of course, go with Cricut.com. You do get it for $11.99. I think HSN, and I don't know, um, they're probably going to have it be a tad bit cheaper, maybe the same price, but they usually HSN always has a bundle. So they might have materials that you can add on to or that be included. Maybe a cutting mat would be included. Um, I'm going to get mine through HSN. 
um, not Cricut.com because HSN is quicker for delivery. Um, and HSN also has the flex pay. Um, you know, they make it, it doesn't make it more affordable. You're still paying the same dollar amount. HSN does have it, it spans out over a period of months. And if you, you know, whatever the flex pay they offer, usually I'll probably offer six flex pays on it. But if you have like the HSN card, you can do the VIP flex pay makes it go a little bit longer. Um, so the monthly payments are not as much, but it's still, you're still paying the same dollar amount. You're not saving any money by doing, using FlexPay. You're just spreading the payments out over a month versus doing it all in one shot. Because if it was all in one shot, I couldn't do it. So we have to do it with the, um, the easy, the uh, FlexPay. All right, my friends, I think that's it. Almost a 40 minute video. Um, leave me comments. What do you think about the video card series being canceled? Uh, what do you think about the Creative Kid Club? Are you excited about it? I really am excited about that. Like I said before, my heart is with crafting with the kids. They're just, it just priceless. You know, it, the bond you, the bond, the memories you create is just priceless. Seeing their faces light when they make something is magical. I love it. Um, just leave me your comments about that, and also the machine. Are you going to get it? Do you, are you watching the videos? Are you excited about it? Are you going to get it through Cricut.com, HSN.com? Do you think it's crazy? Um, you know, do you have no interest in it? I'd love to know your feedback, um, but I, I'm 99.99% sure I'm going to get the machine. Um, I'm excited about it, and I will definitely share. I'll definitely share some projects with you guys. I, I love the fact that it uses typical design space um, that we all use and we're all familiar with. So it's not like you're using some special software that's going to be different. Um, I do love that. The only downside, or not really downside, is the the um, to use design space is desktop only. It does not work with the the with a phone or a tablet. It's not. I guess not compatible with that. Um, which is fine. I, I hardly ever use the Cricut app for my design space. I always use the computer. All right, my friends, I'm going to let you guys go. Any questions at all, please let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, leave me a star emoji in the comments. I would love to see who watches the video all the way through. Um, as always, my friends, and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.